Hi, I'm Ben Hanawalt, Product Specialist here at Atlas Copco. And today we're going to talk about how to update the software on your PowerFocus 6000 controller. Now, there are two ways to update the software on the controller itself. One of them is using a USB device. The second way is using the web HMI that's built into the controller through an Ethernet cable. The first way that I want to go over is going to be using the USB device. So I'm on my computer, I have my USB device plugged in, and you can see I've got all these different items in here. What I'm going to be looking for is a folder that's called PF Images. So you can see right here, I've got my PF Images folder. Keep in mind, this needs to be capitalized. So the capital P, capital F, and capital I are really important because it is case sensitive. Now, when I download software from wherever I'm getting it from, make sure that we are not renaming the software or unzipping the software. So it's going to be a zipped folder just like these are, and all of these different softwares are going to reside on my USB device. Now, if I have multiple options in there, then on the controller screen itself, it'll actually give me the option for updating the software. So keep that in mind, I can have multiple softwares on my USB. So I'm going to remove my USB device and I'm going to walk around to my controller. Now when I get to my controller, I go into the controller tab and I can see that I'm running the 2.78 software. Now I want to update to the newer 2.8 branch of software, so I'm going to insert my USB. And what you'll notice is, automatically on the screen, it'll show up with all my different options that I had back on my PC. I'm going to find the option for 2.811, I'm going to select it, and it's going to ask me if I want to replace the controller software. Now keep in mind, at this point in time, I can actually still hit the continue button and run my tool. So this isn't going to affect production in any way. Now this is going to take about three to five minutes for this software to load. So as you can see on the screen, now that it's finished loading the software, it's actually going to let us know, hey, the software has been loaded. Do you want to activate the software? Now, if I hit the close button, it's going to put it into the stored partition. If I hit the continue button, at this point in time, the controller is going to automatically restart and apply the firmware. So for this example, I'm actually going to hit apply and I'm going to hit the continue button. Now from here, you're going to get a different message. It's going to say cloning the configuration, and then it's going to tell you that the controller is restarting. So at this point, we're going to give the controller uh, approximately five minutes to reboot and make sure that on the reboot, you can see that the tool has its tool lights back on because that's indicative that the process has completed. So now we can see the controller has restarted. Now at this point in time, what I always like to do is I always like to check the settings and the configurations on the controller itself to make sure that the upgrade succeeded and I still have all my torque programs, all of my sources, all of the other settings that are important. Now, one thing that I like to do is I always take a backup before I ever do uh, a software upgrade or a downgrade just in case there's an issue. Now, one way that I can tell this controller is done with its software upgrade is it's back to its home screen, but I also have lights on the tool itself where you can see we have the red and green blinking lights. That's merely saying that, hey, the software upgrade has been completed and the controller is repowered back on. Now, that was the first way that we can upgrade software on the PowerFocus 6000 using the USB device. That is my recommendation for the way to do it. It's simple, it's easy, um, and it makes the whole uh, process a lot cleaner. Now, the other way that I'll show you guys how to do is through the web HMI. So now coming back down into the software, if I go to this controller tab, I can click, I can go to the software portion. You can see that we've upgraded the software already, but I can go to the software update button. Now you'll notice this is not on the screen itself. So if I was to go into the screen itself on the power focus, you would not see this button. But connecting through the web HMI, I have this browse button and I can actually go into my USB device and select a file. So I can actually go in, find my USB device, go to the PF images folder and I can actually find a software that I want to upgrade to. Now, 
Um, the process itself is identical. So you're going to click on the, the software you want to upgrade to. You're going to hit the continue button. It's going to give you the loading bar. Um, and once it's completed, it's going to ask you if you want to continue or close it. If you hit the continue button, it's going to restart the controller and apply it. If you hit the close button, it's going to put it into the stored version for later use. So, I hope this, this video has been informative for you. Uh, upgrading the software on a PowerFocus 6000 is a common occurrence, so it's important that you understand this process and that we can effectively communicate this to all that are using the controller itself. If you do have any additional questions, please feel free to contact uh, your product marketing team for uh, any further concerns. Thank you.